Welcome to Underwater, the channel to make creators one click at a time. Without any further ado, let's go under. The gimbal allows regular people to shoot video like filmmakers, with little to no training in some cases. Still, there are some basic gimbal movement you need to learn to make your videos look like the professionals do. At the end of this video, I will show you an original gimbal movement I come up with, and this could be a game changer if you can pull it off. Number one, and this is very basic, is the pull forward. For this movement, all you have to do is walk towards the subject at a constant speed. Bend your knees a little bit under 45 degrees, and you'll be able to accomplish this movement in no time. And here is my personal trick to avoid even more bumps when doing the pull forward. In my personal case, the distance from my chest to the tip of my arm is 28 inches. Most people hold the gimbal on a vertical position when doing this movement, adding unnecessary bumps to the shot while holding the gimbal 12 inches from their chest. I use the full 28 inches of my arm length, plus I combine my gimbal's 18 inches length when I attach the tripod to the bottom. Now, the cell phone, which is at the end of the gimbal, is 46 inches away from my chest, increasing the distance to the center of gravity and reducing dramatically unwanted movements. Number two gimbal movement, the pullback. This movement is completely the opposite of the pull forward. At a constant speed, move away from your subject. Remember, the further away you are from your subject, the more speed you'll need for this movement to be visually effective. My personal trick, combine the pullback with a fly-through and add a moving subject and it will look even better. Number three gimbal movement, the reveal. For this movement, you need to find an object that will allow you to reveal your subject almost at the end of the shot. One personal trick, make sure to lock your focus before starting this sequence. Number four gimbal movement, crane shot reveal. This movement is the combination of the crane shot and reveal. Both of these can be used individually, but when combined, it gives the audience a more cinematic experience. Again, make sure to lock the focus on your subject. Number five gimbal movement, push forward crane. For this, you need to find a foreground to help your movement to gain speed faster, depending how far away from you is your subject. You can accomplish that by finding an object you can go over with, with ease. And there you have it. These are the five movements for beginners. Now, I'm gonna share with you a gimbal movement that you don't have to move your feet at all to accomplish it. Before I do that, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And more importantly, activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Lowrider is a very common movement and everyone who does it has to move along with the subject. I avoid this by positioning my subject higher than me. I position my gimbal between my legs using the full length of my arms. Then I move my arm forwards along with the subject as far as I can extend my arms and I finish with the crane shot. This movement is called the underwater. I came up with it, so I'm gonna name it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate that notification bell, and I'll see you next time on the water.